What's up guys, Card Protagonist here. Today, I'll be doing a product review on the Buddy Fight Ace STD-01 Draw Knight. This brand new product features Yuga's buddy, Gargantua Dragon, but this time in a new form, aka Knight form. So today, we'll be taking a look at this trial deck so that you, yourself, the viewer, will be able to judge whether you should get this trial deck or not. So I'll be opening up this bad boy so that you can check out the contents. So the box is really, really nice. I really like how you guys printed this and in this manga form. So for those who do not know, the anime right now is in the hiatus because they have some restuffing to do at the anime studio. So it will be back in the future and I really, really hope it comes back because I really, really enjoyed the previous season of Ace which has a really fresh take on Body Fight. So right off the bat, the box tells you what you're going to get. You get a pre-constructed deck which is a 52 card deck for one player. Life counter, which is very important because as long as you're playing body fight in tournaments or casual, you will need a life counter. A rule sheet, a simple way to explain how the rules are work, and a play mat just for easy reference. So this short deck features a new G boost ability. So unlike G Evo, which means you get the smoke switch, you'll be able to G boost your field. I'm guessing the G means gargantua boost, and all cards on the field gain power based on what um, Gaga says on this card text. So it's a really cool mechanic and I really enjoy that kind of playstyle. So yeah, let's jump into the opening. Alright, so right here we have a foil version of the new Gargantua Night Dragon. It's really nice and it does say G-Boost Base. So I'm be I believe there will be different G-Boost in the future. G-Boost Base aka the base form of Gaga. So if you guys don't know, Gaga most of the time we call it Base. Even Shin Gaga is we call it Base because most of you call Shin Gaga first, then you G-Evo it. Hopefully they'll come up with uh, some g mechanics because that will really go well with the deck. But for now, we're just going to play around with G-Boost. Oh wow, I'm really really liking this new light counter. It is blue. My favorite shade of blue it is like a light blue kind of thing. Light counter and it's really smooth. The previous ones are like really really tight and they actually do fix the the smoothness of this. Very nice. You got a light counter. Ace rule book. I believe it's the same because uh, there are not much changes to the rule other than G boost. Now they're using the O, the previous one. It's, it's alright. It actually explains uh, spells, gauge, and auto zones. There's not going to be too much changes to the Q circle because it's pretty much the same. And here is we have the kind of like the cheat sheet of how you can play. So bite your time and strike at the right time. Yeah, all that cool stuff. So if you get this chart, you could read it up and probably get more acquainted to the deck. All right, so let's go to the most important part, which is the structure deck itself. So let's open it up. So first up, we have Awakened DT Dragon, Gargantua Night Dragon. I believe we have five because it includes the buddy. Alright, so let's take a look at it. So it's a Dragot, so it's really cool that they actually made Dragot an attribute right now. So similar to Omnilots, you can use Dragots in all worlds. And it has core cost of 1 gauge and putting a top card of deck in it. So, G boost base at the start of attack phase for this turn. All cards on the field gain plus 10k attack power. Then if you have another DDT on your field, all Dragon DD trap on your field gains plus 1 critical. One thing very important about this ability is this ability lingers on the field even after it goes away. So for example, if you were to attack, double attack finish, then you, you call this over and you oversize, this G boost ability still stays on the field. So the more attacks you do in this deck, the more you're benefiting from its ability because it stays until the end of the turn. So yeah, 5 copies of Gargantua Dragon. I'm glad they give 5 because you don't have to buy 2 trial decks for that. Next up is 2 copies of Garflame Dragon. Garflame Dragon is just an ordinary size tree in the deck. When this card enters the field, you can destroy a monster or opponent's field. Interestingly, it has a counter ability. Activate call this card from hand by paying its card cost. So you could use it 2 ways. Either after attacking your Gargantua Dragon, you can call it over so they can benefit your G-Boost. It'll be 3 crits. Or during your opponent's turn, if you will need to have a shield, you can just call it out from your hand and bomb off their monsters so they can't attack you and you have something to block your life points with because the new Gaga doesn't have move so it won't be able to protect your life point center however you have to sacrifice a Gaga for that which is okay because survival is still very important in body fight so two copies of that two copies of Awakened Deity Dragon Lao Fan Ga Dragon um, I'm sure that most of you guys are very familiar with these units because they are in the previous trial deck or the start deck weather because I just realized that this is a trial deck because it is the first ever trial deck previously they are actually all start decks and triple punisher and they're not considered trial decks. And this is the actual first trial deck that we actually get in Buddy Fight. So, call cost, pay one gauge and put a token on so. So, it's so guard. Very useful because you have the move ability. And also, when this card is destroyed, you can charge one gauge and gain one life, which is nice because it basically refunds you two gauge and two life when it dies. It's mostly used when you're going first or you don't have Gaga, so they can bite, aka stall for time because it's so guard, so it's pretty tanky. Oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Two copies. 
Next up is one copy of this amazing Lanzigra Dragon card. This was a triple rare from SBT01 and is an incredibly powerful card in this deck. So Korkos put a card from your drop zone into his soul and pay one gauge. If a dragon monster on a field, this card is reduced by one size. So it's basically a size one, so they can go really well with your Gargantua Dragon. So yeah, one and it's two, total of three. All dragons on the field gain penetrate and they cannot be rested by a ghost card effect. Very important because right now we do not have cards that prevents rest. And this is the only boy that gives you the anti-rest ability. And the main reason why this guy is so good in his deck is because he has triple attack. And guess what gives it critical? Gargantua Night Dragon gives all cards critical. So basically, this will be dealing six damage itself with a triple attack. Very, very good. One copy. Next, we have four Awakened DD Dragon, Degen Gadra. This, is, this guy used to be a size 1 and is now up rank to size 2. Its ability is when this card attacks for this turn, a DDT on the field gains plus 5k attack power. So this is one way you can boost your DDT on your field because I do realize that some of the DDTs do require you to have 10k above power so they can gain their strengths. It's double attack, so basically he gives uh, one of your DD monsters plus 10k attack power. It's good because it unlocks some of your DD Gigantic Dragon skills. Yep. Two copy of Doge Gadra, it is a size 1. So what it does is a pay 1 gauge when this card attacks and you have 10k attack or greater. So this is how it comes to play. When you attack twice, it gives you 10k attack power or you gain power through Gaga skill. You can destroy all monster opponents field. Really good bot wipe. Yes, it's, it comes in 2 this trial deck, which is very interesting because it's actually pretty strong for a trial deck card. So 2. Next up, 2 copies of Awakened DT Dragon, Mon Gadra. He used to be the trial deck as well. When this card attacks and you have 10k attack power or more, you gain 2 critical. So it's a 3 critical beast. And if you play with G boost, it's basically a 4 critical beast, size 1. Very nice. And it has penetrate so they can poke through the walls and do some effect damage to your opponents, which is cool. Next up is everyone's favorite card, two copies of Garcat. I'm so happy that she's being reprinted because it is such a staple in most of your uh, Gaga decks. And this is such a good card to have because when this card enters a field and you have another DDT on the field, charge one gauge and draw one card. Basically, it's not once per turn, so you can spam it. Um, recommend you play for. So it's really, I'm really happy that it's printed as a common because it is really, really hard to get. So two copies of Garcat. Now, four copies of my favorite funny card we call it Gargazelle. Yeah, ooh, it looks uh, fluffier now. So it's a size zero, um, Gargazelle. Yeah, when this card enters a few for this turn, a DDT on a few games was attack 5k. So um, I guess it helps, it does help you boost up so that you hit the 10k range for your effects. So yeah, four copies. I find it very odd that Gargazelle is always dead because it's size zero, and there's usually you're playing a weapon base that you won't recall monster the center. But I guess in case you don't have you don't try to size ones, this actually fits the role. Now let's go into the spells. For these spells, you get four copies of Boost On. I really love the art for this, and it's such an epic art. So you may only cut this card with DDT or a few. Choose and use one of the following abilities. Either you charge 3 gauge or gain 3 life. Kinda wish it gives you a draw, but it's alright, it's a chordic card. It kinda excels your gauge so that you can pull some effects. Two copies of Garlit. Yeah, what a cool play on words. For this turn, all DDTs on the view gain has 10k attack power. So, this is another way you can unlock your abilities without using Gaga. And personally, the art looks really glit, I guess. So, yes, two copies. Next up, one copy of Dragot Shine. Oh my goodness, this is a great card. Even I still use it in my um, Shin Gaga deck. Um, at the cost of one life, you get to fetch back two different DDTs from the drop zone or such a Dragon item from your deck into your edit to your hand. So, it's just such an amazing card. It has one copy. And this card alone, I believe, that she covers up for most of the child deck stuff. Um, even if you're not playing this, you're not getting this for the Jibu stuff. Getting this just for the fact that you're playing Gaga Ga is just so important because this used to be a money card and yeah, I'm glad they actually reprinted it. It's great. It works really well in all Dragon deck. One copy of Ga Orko, just this set alone, just makes it a really worth to get it. Basically, this, uh, this card, basically this card speeds up the deck. You may only cast this card with a DDT on a few. One gauge, you draw two cards. Then if you have a Dragon on a few, which is your Gaga, you gain extra two life as a bonus. So nice, uh, one gauge to draw two, speeds up the deck. Recommend you play at least two to three in this deck. Two copy of Deity Purple Dragon Shield. This is the first time we're getting a purple shield, which is cool. So when you nullify, you can nullify attack if you do not have um, center, monster in center and you have a DDT on a few. Counter ability, nullify attack, then charge one gauge, gain one life. Then if you have a Dragon on a few, draw one card. Wow, so this is actually one of the first few Dragon Shields that allows you to draw. Very, very nice. Four copies of basic green dragon shield, dragon green dragon shield. 
So you can only use it if you have DDT on a few, knife attack and gain 3 life, giving you extra survivability. Very, very nice. What? Am I seeing two copies of Loud Voice? This card is extinct and it's so good. Um, this card is not only used in DDT but can be used in Dimension Dragons and all Dragon Ball decks in, in general. I've been using this in my Sun Dragon deck as well. This is such a great card. So you can for its cast cost, you can drop one or more cards from your hand. So depending on how many cards you drop from your hand, counter ability for this turn, all cards of opponents field gain um, drops minus 3k attack, 3k defense, and minus one critical for each card drop by this card effect. So uh, if you drop three, your opponent loses 9k attack and 9k defense. It is good in two ways. First way is if you're fighting against a Tora. You can actually drop this defense so they can swing in with your smaller monsters or you could use it to soften incoming attacks with the drop crit and drop power so if so they won't be able to kill you it's just a great card because you can just discard those useless cards that you won't be able to use cards will never be dead in your deck because you have cards like these to protect your life points so two copies and that's all for our spells so let's check out the weapons so for the weapons we first play four copies of garnite saber when this card attacks again one life then if this card is tanky attack or more you can draw a card Wow, I love drawing cards with my weapons. Thanks, man. Four copies. It is a very good... It's probably one of my favorite weapons. What am I seeing here? A reprint of Garchris. This is... I still use this in my Dragon deck. And it's just such an amazing card. Reason why being... It's ability to boost up your Dragos just in case they can't run over walls. I'm not really a pro right now because the G-boost ability is just nuts. It's just totally aces, law pun thunder. <laughs> and... They cannot be destroyed by bones and their abilities cannot be nullified. So it's very, very, very important in the meta right now. Especially against Mystic Knights, where they can just easily bomb the whole field. Just chuck this on the field and your monsters can never be destroyed. This is such a good card. So yeah, Garkris, one copy. The next up, we have another new weapon, which is uh, Garnite Dagger. When this card attacks, if tanky attack more, you can start attack. Not something too interesting. Most of the time, I probably will just equip the one that allows you to draw or Garkris because those really help you a lot. Before we go to impact, I'm actually going to check out whether I'm, I got the foil flag. Let's see, I got it. Oh my goodness, I actually got the flag. I'm not going to lie because this is actually my first ever opening. I just opened this and wow, I actually managed to pull off the Dragon Ball flag. Do leave a comment down below. I do not know whether this is uh, guaranteed in all child decks. It might be guaranteed right now. I'm not sure about the ratio. But yeah, I'm really happy. It looks really nice. It's like a comic style. So yeah, it's, I'm just going to put this together, Gaga. There we go. Now let's read through the impacts. We have four copies of Dragot Strike, a very, very generic name. So what it does is you may only cast card your opponent life is four or less. There's no monster in your opponent's center, and you have used the G boost for this turn. It's a very cheap cost of two gauge, you deal four damage to your opponent. I guess the impact is just there for new players to experience the sweet taste of victory through impacts. So yeah, generally it's not bad because you just do four damage for at two gauge, and it's pretty easy to pull off. You don't really need to have a lot of setup. You just need to have Gaga on a few, and the art is really nice. This is actually one of my favorite arts. I wonder who drew this. Yeah, just check out the art. Sick. So that's it for my product review on the brand new Trial Deck Dra Knight. I really hope you guys enjoyed this product review. If you'd like to see more product reviews in the future, do leave a like on this video. I really appreciate it. And also, if you're looking to buy competitive body fight decks, do check out my online website www.cutprotagonist.com. And I would like to sincerely thank those who supported me in the past. So till next time, keep on body fighting!